I'm logged into WP Gateway on the domain screen and this video is about transferring a website. So we'll click on transfer website and here we'll enter the domain name that we're going to transfer. Click continue. It's asking for a cPanel and the cPanel is obviously not here in WP Gateway. So we select new and I now need the cPanel login details. Yes, you don't want to put the http colon forward slash uh, www etc. Just the domain name. Okay, and we need the cPanel username and the cPanel password and click on clone website on demo domain. I love watching all the successes we're having along the way. Awesome. Okay, so next thing to do is copy the name server address ns1wpgatewayserver.com and ns2 a little tip you only need to copy the one and when you paste this in the second name server address just make sure to change the one to a two and let's continue okay so for the moment the site is inactive one because the DNS settings have not been changed and when they are let's see the demo okay so there's my site that's pretty cool so now I need to just go to my domain registrar change the DNS settings and this will be all complete so I'm logged into the domain registrar I'll select the domain name that I want to change the name servers for and come up to the top and there's a little icon that reads name servers so select name servers and if you're doing this for the first time this will be empty and you'll select add name server and you need it on custom and I'm going to edit the name servers and enter the WP Gateway. So we'll put WP Gateway and WP Gateway. So it's you can just copy and paste the same one twice. Just remember to change the NS1 to NS2 and then click OK and click Save. OK, and you're done.